Here we go. These numbers that you see are the margin of victory percentages in the NFL roughly since about 2015. Let me explain what I mean. Okay. So margin of victory, all right? You see one, 4.3%. So what that means, team wins by one point. Cowboys beat the Raiders 20 to 19. Get it? One point. So 4.3% of all games in a season, all right, will be won by one point. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Two points, 4.2%. Example, Cowboys beat the Raiders 20 to 18, two points. Okay. 4.2% of all games in the NFL in a season will be decided by exactly two points. So hopefully that makes sense and et cetera, et cetera, on and on, all the way to 20. Now, for the podcast listeners, you can't see this, and I'm not going to read every number because there's no way that you would keep that in your head anyway. I will post this on our YouTube page at Driving the Line. Also, I'll post it on my Twitter as well, on the Driving the Line Twitter. Uh, you can find it at Driving the Line so that you can see. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So now, these percentages, okay? What you need to know, obviously, 1 through 20, 1 point. 20 points and everything in between. It's important. Take a look at the percentages, but notice the ones in gold. Okay. These are your key numbers. And if you ever hear betters talk about your key numbers when betting the NFL, betting college football, but obviously this is directly towards the NFL here, these numbers and percentages. Okay. Three, six, seven, 10, and 14. So what that means is. Team winning by three points, exactly. Cowboys beat the Raiders 20 to 17. 14.4% of all games in a season will be decided by exactly three points. Makes sense, right? Football scoring is done in three pointers. There are three pointers, three points, field goals, all right? Touchdown, six points, extra point, seven point, okay? Seven plus three, 10. You see it, all right? So your key numbers three, six, seven, 10, and 14. Again, Makes sense based off of scoring in the NFL. So six points, Cowboys beat the Raiders 20 to 14. All right, six point margin of victory, 7.3% of all NFL games in a season. Seven points, 9.9%, 9 .9%, 10 points, 4.6%, 14 points, 5.7%. Okay, so what you need to know with these numbers and what they mean is this, okay? Understand that when you pass through these key numbers, that percentage, okay, you're either taking on that much percentage as risk, right? If you go, if, if you've got, you know, Cowboys are a three point favorite to Cowboys are a three and a half point favorite, okay? So if you go from three to three and a half, your bet, all right, Cowboys minus three and a half, you are adding on 14.4 percent first think about it this way all right if you're going to mcdonald's or wherever i don't want to throw mcdonald's out of the bus but you have your choice between mcdonald's you know mcdonald's burger king one of them you have a 14.4 percent higher chance to get food poisoning yeah yeah like that's a way to look at it right now it goes on the other end too okay so if you've got the cowboys minus three Three, or let's say three, if you can go from three and a half to two and a half, right? Now you're adding 14.4% likelihood that you could get the push at worst, right? So hopefully that that kind of makes sense there. And what I mean by all that is when you are betting the NFL and you're betting spreads, the difference between, let's just use three as the example, Betting, let's say the Cowboys are a two and a half point favorite, minus two and a half. The difference between minus two and a half, three, and three and a half to where if you have three, obviously, you know, three's a push. You got to get win by four or more. But if you've got, th but you have the push. If you're betting Cowboys minus three and a half, look at all of that that you are adding in percentage wise. And it works the same way. Six points, the difference between five and a half, six. Six and a half, all right? Look at that right there, 7.3%. Seven, even bigger, obviously, right? Basically 10%, right? So 
these numbers and percentages are incredibly important because we all know what the key numbers are, right? Like probably not teaching anybody anything in regards to this, but this is why, right? So when you talk about betting in the NFL, getting in early, right? Before the lines move, we talk about EV expected value, right? So if you have an idea of where the line is going to go, let's say the Cowboys were minus six and a half point favorites uh, against the Raiders. We're just going to keep using them as an example. But you know that the line's going to go, right? It, it's going to be Cowboys minus seven, Cowboys minus seven and a half by the time kickoff comes. Well, if it's six and a half on Monday, Tuesday, and, and that's a, you know, you, you're with the Cowboys there, right? Like this is, this is why and how like these numbers are so important. You know what I mean? In terms of betting spreads. So go through it, keep this with you, right? Like this is just good information. No, and again, not teaching anything you don't know in regards to the key numbers, three, six, seven, 10, 14, like all of that makes sense for sure. But this is why, and this is how incredibly important. And you see big money come in early on games, right? It's because they're beating a value. They know a six and a half is going to go to seven, seven and a half, right? A nine and a half is going to go to 10, 10 and a half. You are adding that in. Look at 14, right? So 5.7%, but it also works the opposite way. So if you are, you know, looking at the Cowboys minus seven and a half on Tuesday, right? They play on Sunday. Well, if you think that it's going to go the opposite way, wait. Because the difference between seven and a half, six, like, you see what I'm saying, right? So these numbers, I wanted to make sure that we were all fully aware um, of exactly why these key numbers are so important. And then you see, you know, when spreads come out, and we'll do this for totals too. I'll break it down as well. Um, give me, we'll do it this week. But when you see spreads come out, you know, Sunday afternoon, Monday, whatever. Pay attention. Now, I'm not saying that you have to obviously, you know, bet it that early because it's a full week, you know, and, and betting that early every time is risky for sure. But now you know of exactly how valuable two and a half, three, three and a half is, right? Five and a half, six, six and a half, which by the way, look at these numbers here, right? So that six, very important. That 14, more important than the 10. Now look at eight. All right. 4%. So you've got one point victory, 4.3, two, 4.2, right? Like those numbers right there, one through 10. And again, obviously it's the NFL games are tight, but it doesn't have to always be about key numbers. Like understand them when you see those fives, five and a half, four and a half, right? Seven and a half if you're battling an eight. If you know that, you know, say the Cowboys are a seven and a half point favorite, and you're like, well, I'd love to get it six and a half, but it's actually going to go to eight and a half, eight, right? Like it doesn't always have to be key numbers. Now, the percentages are smaller for sure, but pay attention to it. Like keep this data with you because, again, you know, it's not going to win you every bet every time in the NFL, but. This is the most important information that there is in regards to betting the NFL. This right here, because this is everything that spreads, books, betters, all of it is based upon, right? Are these percentages and these numbers right here. So I thought that we would just break it down and, and we'll talk more about it for sure as we get closer to the season. But, you know, just pay attention, right? Like just see, you know, even if you don't bet a game, but you're tracking it, say it's a six and a half, you want to watch where it moves, right? seven and a half and then watch the game see where it comes in at right like over the course of a season i mean <laughs> i didn't make these numbers up right like this, this 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 is what it is so um yeah just just keep this with you and we'll talk more about it for sure but i just wanted to make sure that everybody kind of understood exactly why you know whether you're brand new you know to betting the nfl this is going to be your first time or your season pro right like these numbers and percentages 
<laughs> they're valuable to any better. So we'll talk more about it. And if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter um, and we can definitely discuss it more. Right. But I just want to make sure that everybody had every piece of information uh, that you could. And uh, we'll go through totals as well. It'll be a little bit different. It's not exactly the same, but yeah, those key numbers right there, unbelievably <laughs> important. So, all right. 